big things are happening inside China, and YouTube doesn't want you to know. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. For those of you who haven't heard, something major is going down in China right now. I'm about to show you a clip, and it is shocking. Oh my gosh. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is truly a moment that will go down in history. So that's basically the only kind of coverage YouTube will allow. Let me explain. Last weekend, massive protests erupted in China. Some protesters even called for Xi Jinping and the Communist Party to step down. We did a full episode on it earlier this week. Check it out. I'll put the link below. Now, YouTube has age-restricted our coverage of the protests. What that means, essentially, is that YouTube will bury the episode so no one sees it. It'll get as many views as an accordion cover of an insane clown posse song, namely, way fewer than it deserves. The point is, intentionally or not, YouTube is helping the Chinese Communist Party cover up their crimes. In a recent episode, we showed footage of workers at a Foxconn factory, where your iPhones are made, protesting COVID lockdowns. They were met with force, because that's how authoritarian regimes respond to protests. But YouTube says we can't talk about that to a general audience. They age-restricted our video for violating community guidelines. I appealed the age restriction, but the appeal was rejected. They told me it was to keep the YouTube community protected. Keep them protected from what? So I posted about what YouTube did on Twitter, and it went viral. That was pretty embarrassing for YouTube. So they told me they would review the episode again. Glad all I have to do to get YouTube to respond to me is go viral. Next time I need to get a hold of them, I'll just ask while filming a pile of puppies farting the national anthem. YouTube got back to me, and this was their message. They said the video was correctly age-restricted according to our violent and graphic content policies. And apparently those policies say footage, audio, or imagery involving protests or riots violate community guidelines. And in this video, specifically the problematic footage, showed police in hazmat suits beating up a person who was lying on the ground. It was low resolution from far away, in the dark, and not at all graphic. We included it because it's video proof of how the police were treating protesters. YouTube told me, if I don't want to be age-restricted, you will need to blur or delete the segment. So basically, YouTube is telling me I need to self-censor. Although that episode showed Chinese police beating a protester, YouTube has also censored other episodes where all we've shown is a video of blindfolded Uyghur prisoners or a still photo of Hong Kong police arresting protesters, or a still photo of Uyghurs in a detention center. I'd really like to see YouTube justify censoring a photo of Uyghur prisoners. YouTube also told me, sometimes content doesn't violate our policies, but it may not be appropriate for viewers under 18. In other words, YouTube is saying some things don't technically violate the rules, but they reserve the right to censor us anyway. Perfect. Trying not to offend YouTube sensibilities feels like playing darts blindfolded while the dartboard is attached to the back of a gazelle being chased by a cheetah. YouTube has essentially told us not to cover protests or authoritarian abuses in China, or they'll restrict how many people can see our videos. And it's not just happening to us. Serpent Zede told me YouTube did the same thing to their podcast about the protest, instantly age-restricting it. If YouTube were around back in 1989, they probably would have censored the Tiananmen Square Massacre. Meanwhile, you can go on YouTube right now and watch a video called Grand Theft Auto 5 Six Minutes of Running Over Pedestrians, where a car mows down innocent people scattering bodies and blood across the Venice Beach boardwalk. That's not age-restricted. Okay, so every time I talk about YouTube censorship, a lot of comments will tell us to get on Rumble or Odyssey. And I want to say, we are on Rumble. And we're on Odyssey. But while I appreciate that these platforms do not censor us, 
that only solves part of the problem. I started China Uncensored because I wanted more people around the world to know about the Chinese Communist Party and how it affects their lives. Which means, to reach the most people possible, we still have to be on YouTube. At least for now. Of course, YouTube isn't the only big tech platform working against protesters in China. Apple, which, remember, is currently dealing with the fact that Foxconn workers are being beaten by Chinese authorities, began limiting people in China from sharing information via AirDrop. For a company that once ran an ad saying 1984 won't be like 1984, Apple sure is acting a lot like 1984. Though technically Apple is right, because they didn't start acting this way until the mid-2000s. So why are these tech companies so keen on defending the Chinese Communist Party? Well, here's something. Forbes recently published this report, where Forbes identified 23 profiles that appear to represent current employees at Google or YouTube, and 14 profiles of current employees at Meta, Facebook, and Instagram who previously worked for Chinese state media. There is something deeply rotten going on in YouTube. And not just the fact that the accordion cover of an Insane Clown Posse song got so few views. You heathens wouldn't know art if it licked your forehead and bit your ankles. Which, coincidentally, is the traditional greeting for juggalos. That's one reason I created a new channel dedicated to talking geopolitics while gaming. It's called Gamers Unbeaten. Check out our latest video about what indie game Cult of the Lamb can teach us about communist authoritarian systems. I'll put a link below. But there's something else you can do, and this is important. Since YouTube is stifling our protest coverage, I want you to take the link to our episode on it, which again I pasted below, and share that with as many people as possible. Explain to them what's going on and ask them to share it with people they know. Let's burst through YouTube censorship and together expose the Chinese Communist Party. And now it's time for me to respond to a question or comment from a member of the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. Ian Jackson asks, the age restriction requires Google to ask me for my driver's license or passport number. There is no way in hell that I would trust Google with that data. So via YouTube, anything age restricted is effectively full censorship. Yes, Ian, that is exactly the problem. Although Google doesn't ask people for this information across the board yet, their policy says that they can, especially if you live in certain countries. As time goes on, I think more and more people will come to trust Google less and less. Sad for a company that once had the motto, don't be evil, and pulled out of China in 2010. But now Google, which owns YouTube, is actively making it more difficult to learn about China and the CCP. I mean, we've all seen the kind of content that's not age-restricted on YouTube. You think they really are concerned that minors might see Chinese police beating protesters? Didn't think so. Of course, Ian, if it makes you feel better, Google might already have your driver's license and passport number. Thanks for supporting the show, Ian. And thank you for watching. Be like Ian and support China Censored directly. That's really important since when YouTube censors us, they also take away our ad revenue. Visit patreon.com slash to learn more. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.